What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install via version onto your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future versions. When you're playing Minecraft, the later the games get, the more stuff comes with it. I mean, that's just a given. But not everybody likes the same version of Minecraft, even if you guys want to play online together on the same server. So how do you go about playing together, but on different versions? I mean, how else are you going to create awesome structures? Well, that's with Via version. And today we're going over how to install that, and any links you'll need will be found in the description below. Just head down to the bottom of the video and click the description and you'll see it under useful links. Let's get started. To install the plugin, you're first going to want to get it from whatever browser source you use by typing in via version Minecraft. And this will bring up the spigot page that you need in order to install the plugins. The first version of this we're going to look at, no pun intended, is of course via version, in which newer versions of the game can connect to older ones. The next is via backwards, which allows older versions of the game to connect to newer ones. And finally, there is via rewind, which is specific to 1.7 through 1.8. This will allow the 1.7 through 1.8 versions to connect to newer server types. Once you've decided which one applies to your server, then you're going to be able to go to the page on Spigot and check out the version history if you want, but I do recommend just selecting the latest version and clicking the blue download now button. To install it on your server, you're first going to want to, of course, stop the server with the red stop button. Once it is offline, which may take a couple of moments, you're going to then scroll down to where you see the game file field. Under this drop-down bar, you're going to want to make sure that your server is running a type that will accept plugins, like paper for example. From here, you're going to go to the left-hand side where you press FTP file access. Then you're going to enter your password, of course, and log in. Then you're going to scroll down to where you see the plugins folder and select that. On the left-hand side of the new page that is appearing, you'll select upload. Then you're going to drag and drop the via version or whatever type you want into the add file section. Once it is at 100% and at the bottom says one out of one files is uploaded, then you're going to go back to the main page of your panel by selecting the name of your server at the top. Then you'll either start or restart to get these fixes officially changed. And once it's back online, you should be able to join up. Just open up your Minecraft game and when you hit the multiplayer button, for example, with 1.19 on a 1.18 server, you'll be able to join via via version. Now, let's cover a couple of the common issues that we can face with these via version plugins. The first is a via rewind error in which there are a couple of potential solutions that we're going to take a look at if your game is crashing. The first is installing the latest version of protocol support onto your server along with via rewind. This should get everything up and running because they do work in tandem. So if that does not work, then the other option is that your render settings could actually be too far. Obviously, the older versions of Minecraft didn't have 32 chunks to render. So if you have the settings saved over from your previous version, then that'll crash your game. Once you set it otherwise, it should actually launch the server, no problem. The next common issue we'll take a look at is outdated server. If you're getting a version error like this, you just want to make sure that you have the correct version of the VIA versions installed, whichever one is applicable to you. Well gamers, now you know how to play different versions of Minecraft with your friends via one server. Everybody has their different preference of which version they like, and now you can accommodate everybody's needs. Well gamers, that'll just about do it for this one. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.